This is Luke from Onor. Onor makes amendments to Grant easier in every way. Many barristers are sick and tired of amendments. Some barristers don't know when to amend. Others don't know what to amend for. Others don't know how to amend. And the lucky few spend too much time amending. Let's generate an amendment to Grant in Onor for our fake client John Doe and his upcoming trial. All in all, typically this takes me about 4 or 5 minutes. For our purposes, we'll select preparation rather than estimate, and now select the relevant activity. As you can see, Onor displays the time threshold. You can tell at a glance whether the amount of preparation you've done is sufficient to warrant an amendment to grant. Our business is all about helping you be compensated for the work you do as a barrister. That's why for a jury trial, the first question we ask is about in-trial preparation time. That's the time you spend reviewing the transcript at the end of the day and attending and advising the client before each day's hearing. Put in the number of days the trial is set down for, as well as the amount of time needed each day to attend to and advise the client as well as review the transcript, and we ensure no time is written off. The next section covers preparation time. To make it simple, we've broken down preparation into three types. Client attendance, disclosure review, and substantive preparation. We'll answer these questions quickly. The questions help us justify the volume of time we're requesting approval for. They also confirm whether certain complexity criteria are satisfied. They help us to ensure that no time is missed, while the cart, which you can see here in the green, helps you to ensure that you don't double dip on the time that you're requesting. It's worth noting that the preparation questions you see here are specific to the type of activity we've chosen. The preparation questions for sentencing are different from our choice, a jury trial. Now that we've answered the preparation questions, we need to confirm which of the complexity criteria are satisfied. ONOR makes this easier. As you can see, disclosure review has been ticked already based on the answers we gave in section 2. Confirm the likely end sentence. ONOR will automatically insert this into our explanation. As you can see, ONOR automatically generates a large portion of the amendment's explanation. We'll take a closer look at that in Microsoft Word. ONOR displays the difference in the value of the fixed fee in the amendment we're seeking. Let's download the amendment and take a look at that explanation. The table you see here has been generated by ONOR. It makes it easy for a grants officer to see how the time has been spent. We have observed this method significantly reduces the number of amendments that have their time reduced. Coming to the explanation and page 2, it's worth noting the six criteria here. Of the five that are relevant, four of them have already been satisfied based on the explanation you see here. All that's left for you to do is to explain to Legal Aid why this matter is complex. This is where you put the specifics of the matter. For example, why Mr. Doe's mistaken belief in consent has such a significant impact on his trial. Once we've filled out this section, we can return to ONOR, click Draft Email, and attach the amendment to send to Legal Aid. We offer a free one-month trial to all new users. To learn more, go to dashboard.onor.nz. Thank you.